Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Loved, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's words of encouragement from God are about truth. Truth not just in what you say to yourself and others, but the good news of the truth of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gives us the absolute truth of salvation by teaching us if we believe in them, follow what they have commanded of us, fight our battles against evil with the word of truth, which is the Bible, and lean on them for everything with constant prayer and petition for all things, then we will see the day of salvation by God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, having earned eternal life in their kingdom. So let's get into the scriptures. First is John 8.31. So Jesus was saying to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, continually obeying my teachings and living in accordance with them, then you are truly my disciples. John 8.32. And you will know the truth regarding salvation, and the truth will set you free from the penalty of sin. John 14.6 Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God, and the real truth, and the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. 1 John 3.18 Little children, believers, dear ones, let us not love merely in theory, with word, with, or with tongue, giving lip service to compassion, but in action and in truth in practice and in sincerity, because practical acts of love are more than words. Ephesians 4.15 But speaking the truth in love, in all things, both our speech and our lives expressing his truth, let us grow up in all things into him, following his example, who is the head, Christ. John 17.17 17. Sanctify them in, in the truth, set them apart from for your purposes, make them holy, your word is truth. John 16.13 but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth, full and complete truth, for he will not speak on his own initiative, but he will speak whatever he hears from the Father, the message regarding the Son, and he will disclose to you what is to come in the future. John 14, 1-6 Do not let your heart be troubled, afraid, cowardly. Believe confidently in God and trust in him. Have faith, hold on to it, rely on it, keep going, and believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you, because I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, you may be also. And to the place where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God, and the real truth, and the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Ephesians 4.25 Therefore, rejecting all falsehood, whether lying, defrauding, telling half-truths, spreading rumors, any such as these, speak truth, each one with his neighbor, for we are all parts of one another, and we are all parts of the body of Christ. Ephesians 6.10-18 In conclusion, be strong in the Lord, draw your strength from him, and be empowered through your union with him, and in the power of his boundless might. Put on the full armor of God, for his precepts are like the splendid armor of a heavily armed soldier, so that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes of the, and the strategies and the deceits of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural places. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in, in the evil day of danger, and having done everything that the crisis demands, to stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the wide band of truth, personal integrity, moral courage around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, which is an upright heart, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability and readiness produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and petition, pray with specific requests at all times on every occasion and in every season in the spirit and with this in view stay alert with all perseverance and petition interceding in prayer for all god's people john fourteen sixteen through 21 and 23 through 27 and i will ask the father and he will give you another helper comforter advocate intercessor counselor strengthener standby 
to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive and take to its heart, because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, because he, the Holy Spirit, remains with you continually and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, comfortless, bereaved, and helpless. I will come back to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live, you live also. On that day, when that time comes, you will know for yourselves that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. The person who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who really loves me, and whoever really loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. I will make myself real to him. Jesus answered, If anyone really loves me, he will keep my word, my teaching. And my Father will love him, and will we will come to him and make our dwelling place with him. One who does not really love me does not keep my words, and the word teaching and the word, my teaching, which you hear is not mine, but is the Father's who sent me. I have told you these things while I am still with you, but the helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, stand by. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf, he will teach you all things, and he will help you remember everything that I have told you. Peace I leave with you, my perfect peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. And let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance, and give you courage and strength for every challenge. Now you can see that no matter what you have done, you are worthy of salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This is true until they decide otherwise, and not one person knows when that will be. Come as you are to them, give everything of yourself to them, and they will give everything of themselves to you, including the Holy Spirit of God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will guide you to all truth and the way in which you should go, both in your thoughts, words, and actions. They will make you more Christ-like every day as you walk with them in the truth. Be strong and courageous as they will never leave nor forsake you. Let them guide, teach, and lead you into their kingdom with eternal life through obedience to them in their word, which is the only truth. Follow their will for your life, and you will see the, them, them in their kingdom with eternal life. Remember, God, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth, and trust, favor and anointing, faithfulness and steadfastness, forgiveness and salvation, strength and endurance, clarity, courage, and calm, and everything good of them be with you, always guiding you through. Have a blessed day in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God. I love you all, and I'll see you later.